thank you, Jack, for having us here. Thanks for coming all the way to Changi. Eh, no problem. I stay in East, so it's quite near. Jack, how long have you been working at school? I've been here for three years now. Ah, and what is your role here at school? I'm VP Marketing. Nice. How many destinations does Scoot fly to? Scoot flies to 60 destinations at the moment and we're going to 65 next year. Wow, that's a lot. What are some of the newest destinations with Scoot? Well, we started flying to Athens last year right. and we've just launched Honolulu and we'll start flying in December. Hmm, nice. So tell me, what is it like working at the airport? Oh, I love coming here. It's like going on holiday every day, right? Yes, I know. But you know, Jack, I wish I could do that. I can't. So Jack, you've been working here now for the past three years. What is the thing that you enjoy most about working here at Scoot? I like working at Scoot very much. It's um, the people and the mm. brand. Those are the two things that make it fun okay. for me. Okay, so the people and the brand. So, how would you describe the culture then? We are very much a startup. So we're only five years old and we behave like a startup. Mm. So everything moves really okay. fast, plus, um, a lot of times there's a lot of ambiguity, so you actually have to make decisions without full information and you have to be daring, you have to dare to make those decisions. Okay, so how does Scoot compare to other budget airlines? I think the other budget airlines, um, I can't speak for them, but I think we're a little bit funnier, cheekier, and um, we're not as established, so we really do behave like a startup. Okay. And we have that space to be funny and cheeky and quirky. <laughs> So is that how your team is like as well? Funny, cheeky, Yes, quirky? there's pranking going on every day. <laughs> okay. How big's your team? My team is 30. Wow. And we are growing to 38 next year. Right. So when you look for people, what exactly do you look for? Hmm. Okay, so three things are quite important to me. The first is resilience. Mm. So things go pear-shaped often, right? And yeah. you need to be able to recover from that and keep going. Yes. The second thing is I'm always looking for hybrid talent. So you, I, you need to have more than one skill set in an yep. area. Um, so you, you maybe have done digital, you maybe also have done product marketing. So it's not just one area. Mm -hmm. And the last is actually versatility. I mentioned earlier about ambiguity. So you need to be able to be flexible and versatile in the way that you make decisions. Wow. Well, that sounds really tough in terms of your screening process and you have about 30 odd people in your team so you're pretty busy so what time do you start and what time do you head off uh, I get into the office about 9 9 ish with my coffee <laughs> <laughs> then I leave at about 6 but then I'm on again at about 10 uh, or so uh, so uh, it's kind of like a 24 7 thing for everybody well that's the way of life these days so you've talked about employees, you know, when you look for an agency partner, what do you look for in that? That's a very naughty <laughs> question. Um, I think everyone on the team has different requirements for the agency partner. Right. My marketing leads, probably what they want is a very reliable partner. We've been burned too many times when an agency cannot deliver. Mm. For me, I'm looking for a partner who will be, you know, will challenge the way we think about the brand, challenge the way we think about the business. Yeah be our partner um, on this course for where we want to be in five years time. Okay. So about the traveler now, is there a difference between a Scoot traveler versus another budget airline traveler? I think the Scoot traveler is more adventurous and more spontaneous. Okay. You know, talking about traveling, when you are traveling yourself, what are the three travel essentials that you must have in your bag? It's a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> I have my noise cancelling headphones, okay. my uh, neck pillow, right. and my soft toy called Poe. <laughs> okay, so where do you bring Poe to? A beach holiday or a city holiday? Uh, we're both city people. Okay. Shopping or skydiving? Hmm, tough one. I think skydiving. Heels or pumps? Actually, sneakers. <laughs> right. Reading a book or watching a movie? I do equal amounts of both. It depends on how I feel. So, a little bit of trivia for us now. How many planes does Scoot have now? Scoot has 23 Airbus A320s and 15 Dreamliners. Right. What is the most memorable experience so far about your time here at Scoot? Well, it's hard to pin it down to just one. I would have to say there are two. Um, one was the first 
787 Dreamliner arrival, that was three okay. years ago. And the second was our merger with Tiger Air, which happened just a few months ago. Uh, those are two very stressful but memorable experiences, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so what do you do to let us see? Uh, I switch off. Like I said, I'm always on, right? right? So I switch off for an hour and hopefully that lets off steam every day. Okay. Um, and I'm going to take a holiday really soon. I'm going off to Ubud, nice. do yoga every day, um, drink lots of coffee, maybe get drunk. Get drunk, get drunk. Okay, well, all this talk about travel, holiday makes me just want to jump on the next flight out of Singapore. Yeah. So Jack, so mm. where do you think I should scoot off to? Oh, I think you should go to Athens if you haven't been already because it's something you know to see Acropolis to see uh, to see the ruins and go to the islands I think that's something that everyone should take off their bucket list mm, I didn't know school flew that far yes okay well I'm off to Athens first bye then. James <laughs> bye bye take care okay Athens which button